All the properties and methods we've made so far have belonged to individual instances of structs, which means that if we had a student struct, we could create several student instances, each with their own properties and methods. So we'd say struct student var name string, init name string, self.name equals name, end init, and struct. Then we could say the ed equals student name ed, Taylor equals student name Taylor. You could also ask Swift to share specific properties and methods across all instances of the struct by declaring them as static. To try this out, we're going to add a static property to the student struct to store how many students are in the class. Each time we create a new student, we'll add one to it. First, we add our static variable, static var class size equals zero, and then inside the initializer, we'll add one to class size every time a new student's made. Because the class size struct belongs to the struct itself, rather than instances of the struct, we need to read it using student.classSize, like this. 